Hey, Jason Boone here from premiumbeat.com, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record a voiceover directly to your timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can really streamline your editing workflow by recording a voiceover directly into your Premiere project. You can not only monitor your video in real time while recording your voiceover, you can also utilize pre and post roll countdowns and sound cues to help assist in your recording. So let's go over the steps on how to properly record a voiceover straight into your timeline. So we're working on a language learning video and we want to record a voiceover for this particular shot that we're working on. We're trying to teach how people how to say, I do not speak French in this shot. So we have the English come up first, the English graphic, and then the text come up in French afterwards. So we want to record a voiceover saying both of these sentences, one in French and one in English. So let's figure out how we can do that. Okay, the first thing we want to do is go to our voiceover record settings. And you do that by going over here to your header section in your timeline into, into the audio track, control or right click, and select voiceover record settings. Now we see a couple options here. And you can see we have some meters here listening to our levels. So let's go through here. First is the name. We're going to name our file. So this is what our first uh, voiceover audio file is going to be named. So we're going to do the English first. I do not speak French. Okay, so we have the, the title here. Then we're going to select, I already have a, my USB microphone selected, but whatever you microphone you have set up, or you could even use your computer's built-in microphone if you're happy with the quality. And then for input, select your microphone. And then over here, you can see there's a couple of things to help us with our recording. First is the countdown sound cues. We'll keep that selected. And then we have a visual pre-roll and post-roll alerts here. We have three seconds of pre-roll and two seconds of post-roll. Now when we, when we do our voiceover recording, we can select an in and out point. And wherever on our timeline, let's say we select our end point right here at four seconds, our, we're gonna get three seconds of pre-roll. And in our program monitor, it's gonna show us a three second countdown and it's gonna give us some alerts here. So you'll see when we, when we do a recording, be sure to pay attention to the pro what's going on in the program monitor here. Okay, so we have our voiceover recording all set up. Now we need to select a destination of where exactly we want our audio, audio files to be saved. So to do that, we go to File, Project Settings, Scratch Disk, and then you can see here in the second line we have Captured Audio. This is where you're going to select where you want your files to be saved. I'm going to leave them on the default same as project, but Again, you can customize to whatever location you want. If you want it to go to an external hard drive or somewhere on your local hard drive. And if you look here, here's my project and you can look, it creates a subfolder, Adobe Premiere Pro captured audio. So this is where all of our audio will be captured to. Okay, so now it's time to record the voiceover. So what we wanna do here is we wanna select in and out points. Where, again, first we're recording the English part. So we want to start here, we want to end here, right before the French. Okay, so we have our in and out points selected. Now we simply go down to our audio track. We select the audio track. If you have multiple audio tracks, you need to select the particular audio track that you want to record to. So we'll tra select track one because we don't have any other audio here in our sequence. And if you look over here, there's a little microphone button and we can see it's our voiceover record button. And as soon as we click this, it's gonna start recording. And if you can't see this microphone, simply go to control click and right click again on the header, customize, and then click reset layout. And then you'll be able to see here, the microphone is here. Okay, so now let's record our voiceover. I do not speak French. Now if you look, since we're at the beginning of the sequence here, it you couldn't really see the three seconds of pre-roll, but you could see the three second countdown here. And we saw the post-roll, you can see here it's two seconds past. So let's take a listen. I do not speak French. Okay, so we have that. Now let's move our in and out point to the French section here. And you're gonna, you're about to hear uh, a terrible, terrible French accent. I apologize ahead of time, but hey, I do, I do my best. 
Now what we need to do, since we're recording a second file here, we need to go and rename the file. So let's go to our voiceover record settings again and change the name to our French here. And then close that. Okay, and then we'll go and record. I do not speak French. Je ne parle pas français. Like I said, uh, you know, I apologize. <laughs> Let's have a listen. Je ne parle pas français. If any of you French speakers are listening, I apologize. I know my accent could use a little work. But you can see here in the waveform, we've got both of our clips here recorded or both of our audio files and that was really simple we can you know we can time it we can watch our watch our visuals here put in and out points it's very very intuitive and, and streamlined and, and shortened a streamlined workflow that can save you a lot of time as a as compared to recording a voiceover separately to some other system and then bringing your audio files over and then trying to time everything um, this is a very efficient workflow so what i'll do now is i'll just trim some of this up. So let's trim it down here. And then retime our audio here. And then we'll get rid of our in and out points. And now let's have a quick listen. I do not speak French. Je ne parle pas français. <laughs> I may need to extend this out a little bit more. It's kind of tight there, but uh, there we go. And now if we look over here, we see our two audio files. And if we go back into our path here and we select captured audio, we'll see another subfolder here with the name of our project. And there are two audio files, WAV files selected here, voiceover files. So once again, very streamlined and efficient workflow here. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.